If you want to know which way America's leaning, there's one place that might signal the outcome. Home to just 30,000 people, Door County is tiny, but its political impact is anything but. It's voted for the winning candidate in every presidential race this century. Whoever wins Door County, um, they tend to win the, the entire election. It varies back and forth, but we seem to get it right. How are we doing, girl? You have a big, big healthy baby? Austin's family has farmed here for six generations. So while the polls are neck and neck, his pick of former President Trump is based on experience. On the farm, um, you know, when we're, when we're mating our cows, you have two choices. You can use a proven sire, or you can use what we call a young sire, and you kind of know what you're gonna get, but that reliability is fairly low. So I kind of apply, when I'm picking out bulls to use, I apply that to politics. Yay, Trump! This place is overwhelmingly white, with an average age of 53. But if the rather measured responses here seem to belong to a kinder past, many of those driving by are local shipbuilders, whose future is more uncertain. All right. I really feel like America is on the line. Everything that we stand for, our values, and you see a lot of blue-collar people that have shifted towards him, and they feel like he listens. Like they, Those people feel like they've been forgotten by their government. Is this 1043? Oh, sure, this is Gretchen. The Democrats are trying to remain optimistic, but it's not easy. Karen's meant to be on holiday here, but volunteered after Trump's former chief of staff called him a fascist. My dad fought the Nazis when he was 18. He was in Europe. And anybody who's thinks about their family members who fought in a war from here, usually it was against an authoritarian government. Democracy is fragile. As she was describing it just now, it brought tears to my eyes. Because I think it's that important, an election. And I think it's, it's very much the future of our country. And Travel a few hours south and you find a very different Wisconsin. This is Milwaukee a democratic stronghold with a newly regenerated downtown. But the city's black communities still have some of the lowest living standards in America. It wasn't always this way. Well, my father and my uncle came here during what's considered the Great Migration when a lot of black people came from the southern states to work here. And they told me in the 50s, you could get a job for like $30 an hour. But then many of the big manufacturers moved elsewhere. What kind of jobs have replaced those? Just lower paying jobs that don't necessarily have the benefits that they had back in the day. So despite the fact that President Trump is on record as having been racist, do you think there are still those in the black community who will hold their nose and vote for him because they think they'll be better off? Absolutely, absolutely. Personally, I have talked to more people than I ever thought that are willing to support President Trump and mostly because of the economy. My man, how you feeling today? How you doing? The polls reflect that, particularly for men, but Mo, who runs one of the area's successful new businesses, doesn't buy it. I can't speak for every black man. I can only speak for myself. I know what my community says, and I'm my African and the average African-American man exercises his vote, and I don't think it's for Donald Trump. Black or white? For locals, this Milwaukee supper club is an institution. Some of the regulars have been sharing a drink here since Chris's family first opened it 50 years ago. So what do your customers tell you? It, it's the economy, it's the economy, it's the economy, it's the economy. <laughs> it really is the number one issue. But it's global, not financial security, that's behind Susan's vote for Trump. I feel that he has really strong relationships with other leaders globally. In fact, my daughter, called from Arizona and said, who do I vote for to not have World War III? And that makes me sad. So much in this election feels out of the ordinary. 150 miles away at a Halloween car race in Republican Wood County, they might look like Trump supporters, but... We got the mullet, all kind of going towards a 70s, typical El Camino driving Republican. Is that how you're going to vote? Probably not. Why? I just can't really get behind Trump. Some of the things he said just kind of sound almost fascist. And I can't really get behind that. So if you see this out on course? It's the warning signs that are the talk of the track. Some of his ideas 
I'm, I'm scary of them. Some of the things that, that he says, some of the things that he says he's going to do. Um, he's also a convicted felon. So to me right now, I, I think our country's on a precipice. Good, we need the next three cars, please. And with the end of the race just days away, that leaves a real sense of jeopardy as America heads into the unknown. Rachel Younger, ITV News, Wisconsin.